Hello everyone and welcome, it's one for snoop and in today's video I will be showing you how to get the tonsil stone which in my later videos I told you I might show you how to get to the lecture building and I might not but here it is and the tonsil stone is very very important if you are trying to get to the lecture building to do the farming tip uh, but this is the only way that I know that is for sure guaranteed to get it even before or after you kill Rom the vacuous spider which if you kill him then you can't get it from other NPCs in Central Yarnum <clears throat> excuse me um, but anyway you go to the Forbidden Woods which I know you probably don't know how to get there either but if you do then go good for you if you don't uh, you'll have to go from the cathedral ward which is up that way somewhere I don't have my point gesture so hold on it's up that way somewhere and uh but you go from the cathedral ward and find your way to Viker Amelia and after you kill her you'll get you'll have to you have to talk to the um the gravestone at the altar and he'll he'll give you a password it'll go to a big cutscene and you'll hear a dude talking and, and then after the cutscene there's another door near the big circle graveyard and it'll ask you for a password and then after you enter that password uh, you'll just come running down through here and find the first lamp in the forbidden woods and from here it's pretty simple there it's not too strenuous or anything like that but anyway this is how you this is how you get there there's gonna be a dude walking with an axe through here and a guy over here with a gun and do not step on these wooden planks right here because if you do then that'll swing down and kill you in probably one hit depending on which gameplay you're going through but yeah, watch out for that. After going past that, there's going to be a dude over here to the right. He's a little wolf dude. I don't know where he went. I think I, yeah, I already killed him. I, I don't know. He might have slid down the hill or something. But as you can see, I've already killed everybody through here just so I can make it easier. There's going to be two wolves. Uh, one, two, three, four five six other enemies no nope, seven other enemies over here and two of them will be throwing um oil urns at you which can damage you if you get into these fire pits over here really really bad it'll probably kill you really really fast too but uh yeah after you kill all of them and you get these yellow flowers go over this hill and there's another wolf dude here but depending on you don't have to kill him you can just run past him he'll follow you but he's not that important really and when you get down through here I've already activated this track just to show you but there's another wooden plank thing here and it'll swing down from up there but you don't have to go through there so that's a good thing because there's a lot more enemies through there instead after you go, come through here and you come get to these gates right here go left and right up this hill this house right here there's an NPC in there but before you talk to him make sure that you either kill all the wolves that are out of the cages or if but if they're already in the cages then you don't have to worry about them because they won't come out but they only come out after you kill them once but uh after you kill them come over here and talk to this dude and I've already gotten it so he's, he's not gonna talk to me but I don't know why my dude did that. But anyway, after you talk to him, he'll he will give you the tonsil stone. But there is another secret part. And some people, if you have over 40 insight, you'll see the lesser amygdala um, all over Yarnum and on the buildings. Just looking over everything. Some of them 
we'll attack you, but only if you stand in a certain spot for so long. But the reason you need the tonsil stone is because there's one specific one that you must, you have to, you have to go and let him attack you. Because that's the only way you can get to the lecture building from anywhere. And since I'm already on the video, I'll show you how to get to the amygdala. I'm not going to let him grab me because I don't know if he'll kill me or send me to the lecture building since I've already been there. Um, yeah, I think it's the Unseen Village. And in case you're wondering, you can only get to the Unseen Village after you kill Rom the Vacuo Spider. Because after you kill him and go up to the... Um, the Yarnum Queen, she'll transport you to the room I'm about to show you, and you just run through the doors, and you'll get to the Unseen Village lamp. But anyway, see, I don't even have 40, but in the in the Unseen Village, you're always going to see the lesser amygdalas on the buildings, and there's a lot of them. So it's a good thing you don't have to fight them. Anyway, I'm probably going to have to fight a few enemies through here. I know there's like two or three right here. And the crappy thing about this is sometimes they'll respawn. I mean, like that. They'll just respawn because of the bell ringing woman. But anyway, as you can see, there's an amygdala right here. And after you get the tonsil stone... Run up to him and he'll do that right there, and it'll he'll grab you. And well, actually, it's supposed to be a she for some reason. I don't know why, but yeah, she'll grab you and take you to the lecture building, which I don't know if she'll take me or not. Make sure you have all your health and a lot of health, or she'll kill you with that frenzy. Oh, and Magdala. Huh, I never actually watched that cutscene. That's pretty brutal. And there you are, the lecture building. Which from here you can just light the lamp and return to the hunter's room so you can get all your health and you don't have to waste blood vials. But that is how you get through the lecture building so you can do the blood echoes farm. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys next time.